Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to my Last of Us playthrough. So, Ellie just, uh, we just had a boss fight with that David guy. Now we're Joel looking for Ellie. And, uh, yesterday I was using the internet to find trophies. And not only did I f know now that there's a secret over here, but it's actually kind of an easier way to go than the way I would normally go which is through the gas station. But if you come back here, you can jump through this window, and hey, look, a shiv door. Go ahead and crack that open. There you go. And get a training manual for smoke bombs. Not like I really care about smoke bombs. And you get gun parts and ammo and all sorts of goodies. All right. So now you can go this way. And try to not get seen by people. So there's that guy up there. But more importantly, there are people right there. Do you see me? I don't think so. Can I like... Nope. Not working. Goodbye. You're dead. I don't care. Uh, yeah. He's still not dead. Alright, now I'm gonna run. Here, and they lose me in the whiteout. So, so far. Oh, people right there. <whistles> Didn't even see me. Good. So then, jump over this wall. Kill this guy just because. It's right at the door. Oh, he had stuff. Grab it. Go. All right. So that's it as far as combat in this level. Find Ellie's backpack, so we know she's around. He has a meat ledger. And the meat ledger is all creepy. Where is the meat ledger? Oh. I guess not as creepy as I remember it being. I thought it actually detailed like the people that were being used, but I guess not. Oh, look at this. This is not creepy at all. Again, Ultra Lux. Or in the downstairs kitchen. Alright, break through here. I guess just open the door. And there's the diner that's on fire that Ellie was last at. So now, swap back over to Ellie. And David ain't quite dead yet. That's not good. Alright, well, let's go grab that machete and uh, defend ourselves. Can we make it? It's so dramatic, I don't know. Oh! Ow. I knew you had heart. You know, it's okay to give up. Ain't no shame in it. Yeah, we're not gonna give up. Never give up, never surrender. I guess not. Might not be the right place for such a lighthearted reference. Ow. You can try begging. Fuck you. You think you know me? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You, sir, have no idea what Ellie is capable of. As evidenced by this. Oh my god. Stop! Stop! Fucking duck me! Look, it's me! It's me! It's me! Look, look! That was intense, man. It's me. He tried to 
Crazy. Don't get to see his face. Too bad. Kind of want to. I had it coming. Cannibalistic pedophile guy. It's an hour in spring. The last season of the Ellie. rotation. Did you hear me? No. What? Look. Hospital. This is where we get off. Let's go, kiddo. Using freeways like actual freeways, just breeze, on foot. Huh? If they take the right okay, exit. On a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my sex drink. Yeah, you know, once we're done with this whole thing. I think you have played guitar. I reckon you'd really like. And if you pay enough attention, what do you say, huh? You'll find an optional conversation oh. that I missed the first time through. She seems distant. Oh, that's a dead person. Oh yeah, RV. Remember what I said about an RV a while ago? Family photograph. Let's look at this photograph. Aw, it's a cute-looking family. Too bad they're all dead. Also, dead child. Dead child. That's not depressing at all. Alright, we can make something. Make it. Can we upgrade yet? Nope. Alright, so that's that for that RV. That depressing, depressing RV. I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh yeah? Yeah. Tell me about it. I don't think this one counts towards the trophy, though. Among this optional conversation. I walk to the cockpit, open the door, there's no pilot. That's not good. Do you even know what the controls look like in a plane? A little bit. Well, you know, dreams are weird. If you jump over here, by the way. Firefly pendant. Let's see, I think there's something to find over here. But I could be wrong. I know there's no collectibles or anything, but I thought there might be some some uh, resources. But I'm not seeing anything. Nope, I was wrong. Forget I said it. Look at that. Another city. Another abandoned quarantine zone. Mycotoxin. Level 4 containment protocols. All persons must be cleared by medical staff before entry is allowed into quarantine zone. Looks like that lasted. There's the hospital. Big old cross on it. There's that hospital the Firefly mentioned. You won't get a... Okay. Let's go in here. Logan James bus station. Maybe we cut through here, huh? Oh, newspaper. No, not newspaper. Just a sign. Fedra Incident Security Force. Secure area. Restricted military zone. Use of force authorized. That's good. Note to wife. Let's see what that says. Lucia. Lucia. Uh, we made it to the quarantine zone. I wanted to call you, but all the phone lines are down in the city. They told us they can deliver letters between the different zones, although it will probably take a week or two to reach you. We're in good spirits. Uh, Hannah talks about you a lot. She really misses you. I'm surprised at the calmness and maturity she's thrown... She's so... Ah, God. She's shown throughout this craziness. I feel like I've been the emotional one. I find that she's comforting me most of the time. We've raised her well. Hope all is well on your side of the country. And I really hope to hear your voice soon. Love, Graham. I try to read too fast. That's my problem. 
I'm trying to read too fast through it. Okay. There's really not much point in uh, all right? yeah. scavenging, honestly, at this point. Kind of seem extra quiet today. Yeah, you're normally very, very talkative. Sorry. No, it's not. It's fine. Still not enough. I think we need five more. All right. So clearly, we have to get up here. Let's do it. Well, we could use that ladder. Here we go. I like this. Ellie. Make you think it's just all normal, but they're still using the Ellie. mechanic to what? tell what? the story. Right. Yeah, I would be uh, like that too if a like the, she went through two like super traumatic things like at once. There's the trauma of someone basically trying to rape you, like that's an awful <laughs> thing to go through, and then also murdering somebody like. Like, so, in such a personal way, not just like shooting them from a distance, but macheteing them in the face a thousand times. Like, people don't get over that, even if they're cold blooded killers. Like, that, that's gonna mess you up for a while. So, she had two pretty oh my God. traumatic things to go through at the exact same time. That kinda. Ellie. That's gotta be stressful. Ellie! All right. Well, she didn't help us up here. You gotta see this. See what? what I don't see anything. It just looks like normal city. I don't see anything. I saw a shadow of something. I wonder what that could be. Whoa! It's a giraffe. How nuts is that? And some of the concept art that you unlock, they show other animals like in the concept art. So I wonder if they had planned on having more in this sequence than just the giraffes. But all oh, there are are giraffes. They have, like zebras and stuff. Are you supposed to like feed it carrots or something? Isn't that what they do at zoos? Should name him Jeffrey. Where's it off to? Here, come on, let's go. Slow down, kiddo. Oh, look, there's a bunch of them. Can I shoot them? I don't think it would let me. Nope. I mean, that would be a lot of meat when you think about it. In this kind of situation where there's not much food around. I'd be tempted to, like, actually kill a giraffe if I saw one in the post-apocalyptic situation. Even though it kind of, like, represents hope and everything, I'd still think I would want the food. <laughs> and if I already had food, like, with me, maybe not. But if I was out of food, absolutely. Look at them, there's a whole herd. It's a pretty cool moment. So... Everything you were hoping for. <clears throat> it's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. Yeah, giraffes, mountain, cool-looking buildings. It is a pretty good view. I will agree with you there. Let's go. Gotta get a move on. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. I can't 
can't be for nothing. Yeah, you come this far. Kill enough people. Can't turn back now. Let's look around in here for a bit. Again, there's not really much point in scavenging. They're pretty much done with the game at this point, but, you know, might as well. Comic in there. Collectible. That's definitely something you want to grab if you don't have it yet. Like alcohol and stuff. You don't really need many resources anymore. Basically done with the game. Place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. And everywhere you look, you just saw families torn apart. The whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Yes, it was. I can't imagine losing someone. I'm sorry, Joel. I do want to make one quick stop, now that I think about it. But you're not completely done with combat, so you might want to upgrade your guns at this point. As much as you can, anyway. Also, ammo, so you want that. So let's see what we can do here. Let's get some arm. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I must have missed tools somewhere. You should have all five tools by this point. I did the first time through, anyway. Alright, well, let's see what's most expensive. 50... Sure. That. Is there anything else we can do? Do some of these things. Ooh, reload speed. There we go. For a gun that only has one shot, that is good. Or did we upgrade it to two more? Nope. Still is only one shot. You can upgrade it up to three clip capacity, which is good. Very good. Hey, Joel. I got something for you. Yeah? What is it? Here. Maria showed this to me in the Thief. Look at that. She grabbed the photo of Joel and Sarah. Very sweet. Very emotional. No matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. Yeah, it was a mistake for Joel to not take in the first place, so Ellie did the right thing there. Salt Lake City, military zone ahead. Did they just, like, paint over regular street signs? Yeah. Interesting. Now if you swing around here, Firefly Pendant, also back there there's one, like, hanging up on a street light or something. But I don't feel do like mean? grabbing that. Sure. Alright, are you ready for the last, last encounter with the infected? It's the very last time you will ever see an infected enemy until, like, DLC or whatever. Which I can't wait for that. I want there to be more already. Who knows how long it'll take. But anyway, yeah. There are a bunch of them here, but if you are careful, you absolutely can avoid every single one of them without 
needing to fight them. So that's a bloater, so we want to avoid that. I mean, they're blind and everything, but I'd like to stay out of their path if at all possible. So there's one right beside us, so as long as you don't get too close to him, it's a runner, so he can see. But as long as you don't get too close to him, he seems to ignore you. Is that a stalker or a clicker? I think that's just a stalker. Which means I should be careful, actually. Stalkers can see. Stalkers are the ones that have, like, the mushrooms come out of their face, but they're not quite clickers yet. Alright, that's a clicker. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Stop. Stop clicking. Stop it. Oh man, that... That for serious freaked me out. Let's, uh... Send you, like, over there. I need to be careful here. Like, seriously. I, that might have been a mistake, actually. If I... Oh, and shit's hit the fan. Alright, well, I screwed that up. Alright, so here's why this sucks, because there's like a crap ton of bloaters. Oh, where did you come from? Kill you. Uh. Shit. Alright, so yeah. You don't want to get. Oh god. Oh, stop it. Get out of here. Oh man. Oh, I, it's stupid, stupid, stupid. I actually want to take out all the regular infected first, all the runners and clickers. I'll worry about the bloaters later. I feel like there's one right behind me. Oh my god. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I done fucked up, didn't I? Alright, well maybe if we... Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, okay. Let's see if we can hide for a bit. So yeah, there's a bunch of infected in here, too. Alright, well, this is not going well. Did I kill the bloater? No, I did not. Oh, eat fire. Yeah, how do you like that? Alright, uh... <laughs> So that just happened. I think I took care of them all, though. There's, like, hidden stuff all over here, but I don't know if I'm going to search too hard for anything. Okay, so that's uh, an example of how not to do this section of the game. You do not want to fight here. There are so many infected. The only reason I was able to survive that is because I'm <laughs> freaking used to it by now. My stealth is not good. I have stealth through here before. The first time I did it, I was successful, but, uh... Yeah, you gotta be careful. And I was definitely not careful there. 
I was like, oh, I can sneak by this clicker and just get behind the pillar and he won't see me. Nope, not the case. So yeah, if you get to this point without any, any of them seeing you, you're pretty much golden. Even though she makes a lot of noise climbing up here and everything, they'll just continue to ignore you. Even after she pushes this thing down, and that makes a lot of noise. They ignore it, which is good. Alright, let's, uh, get my way. And let's go like this. We're good. Oh wait, I was wrong. There's one more infected. Literally one more infected in the, the rest of the game. And you don't even really have to worry about it too much. You don't. Watch your step. I mean, you still have to kill it, but you're not in any danger. I'm on the other side. All right, I will do that in a sec. But first, I want to climb up here because hidden collectibles, comic book. All right, here we go. Grab this. Welcome to ladders. And yellow means that's where you place it. Oh, gotta be careful there. You absolutely can die from heights, so be careful. Alright, so now let's go over here, wait for her as she takes forever. Alright, come over here, let's do it. Do what we always do. There should be no surprises here, right? Get that door open. Last infected in the game, and I waste all my ammo okay? on it. Yeah. Should only have taken two shots. Just me. But I wasn't sure if he was dead or not, so I wasted that third one. Yeah, me too, because that's totally going to happen by the end of this game. We're going to cure humanity. Oh, here's a last set of tools. Okay. So I guess you weren't supposed to have level 5 tools by that one point. Alright, uh, before we hit up the bench, let's go hit up this shiv door right here. One of the easier ones to find. Did not need internet help for that one. Ooh. We have enough for a thing now. An upgrade. Nothing on the shelves? I, th I thought for sure there'd be parts in here. Ah, there we go. Alright, so first... Crafting speed? Sure. I mean, at this point it really doesn't even matter. It does get really fast, though. Did you see that? That was a real quick uh, crafting. So, ooh, okay, perfect. So do we want armor piercing on this, or armor piercing on this? We definitely want it on one of them for the last section of the game. Spoiler alert, there's lots of armor. This will do just fine. So, yeah. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna take any time pretending like I don't know what to do here. So here we go. Go like this. Should not have hit X there. Go through here, dead bodies. And now we're safe. And you don't go through there. That's a trick. You go up here. Actually, the first time I played, I wanted to go where I wasn't supposed to go. I thought this was the way you weren't supposed to go. I thought there'd be secrets. So I went here first. I was like, oh. 
And that's just an empty room. There's nothing to find in there. Okay, then we flip the pallet over. And be sure to fall over here, because I totally died once falling too far. I fell like on the bottom of the stairs and it killed me. That was not fun. Alright, so now you grab said pallet and you do your usual shtick. Uh, you know. Okay, All right. I'm on it. Be careful. I got you. And do that. Then we want to swim over here while she takes a very, very long time to get up to here. Instead of, eh, you could run faster than that, Ellie. Sprint. Usain Bolt it. And then she stops there. And that's how you solve that puzzle. Nothing else to it. Oh, wait a second. There is. See, the ladder breaks apart. So now, it's really not that hard to figure out. I'll figure some out. Bring it over here. And set that down. Climb up. And the great thing about ladders, especially ladders that have solid backing, like this one does, it's not just rungs, it's got that uh, metal there in the back. And it's, they're good for walking across. Unfortunately, you cannot just walk off with the ladder. I guess that would probably be dangerous. Whatever, I would do it. And then, right here. And that is that puzzle. For serious this time, though. <clears throat> oh boy. Let me go ahead, and you follow my lead. What's funny is if you try to make this jump. Oh, I guess I did make the jump. What's great about this is that this looks like an instant death kind of situation. It's like, oh, you fall in the water, you're gonna die. Oh, but wait, I screwed up the jump. And you're totally fine. Hey, don't do that, okay? Yeah, it would be instant death for her, though, because she cannot swim. Okay, come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. See? See, so, yeah, you can get through that entire section without falling in the water. Again, like, the thing about this game is there's so many just, like, small details like that that just, like, other games would not even think to put in. They would make that an instant death kind of situation. Alright, let's survive. Or, nope, that's not how you survive. Oh, that... That sucks. So yeah, you gotta push triangle to catch a rung, and then you can climb like this. Although you don't even have to actually, because it's all gonna end up the same way with you back here. And hey, look, it's Ellie to save the day. Ow! Hit me in the head with the door. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Uh-oh. She can't swim. She can't swim. Go, Joel. You don't have time to dilly-dally. There she is. She's floating there. I don't like it. This would be like the worst possible time for Ellie to die. Right at the end. Right at the end of our journey, right before we get to the Fireflies lab. Swim up, swim up! Air!
Come on, CPR. Hands in the air. Oh, great. Joel has a great history with armed guards and children. It seems to always work out. Hey, look, she's not dead. Sorry about that. They don't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her you back. You look comfortable. You came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew crossing the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up, and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. Mm. She's being prepped for surgery. What do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Find someone else. There is no one else. So you were going to show me where Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. You have no idea. I knew her since she was born. Person. I promised your mother I would Marlene. look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me. Or even her. There is no other choice here. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joe. Get up. I said, get up. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? That's a bit of a dick. Look, it's our backpack. Just conspicuously you sitting walking. there. I said keep walking. <laughs> Where was the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Oh man, that's not a place you want to be shot at. Oh god, twice. Where? There go both. For the far end. Joel's got a mean streak. All right. Now would be a good time to stop though, so I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.